Merry Christmas! Oh, it's so festive. Oh, thank you. <laughs> See ya. This is 32-year-old Paul, a PA eager to experience festive romance for the first time. I would be the worst person if I did have a boyfriend at Christmas. I would be the one who is just sharing everything on Facebook, mainly because it'll be such a miracle that I've actually got someone. It's like, oh my God, Paul has a boyfriend. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Are you feeling Christmassy? Very. Brilliant. Always. Perfect. <laughs> Come here. Many will look after you. Take a seat Thank here. You. Thank you. I will you. do my best. Welcome. Thank What's you. your name? Paul. Paul. What can I get you? Uh, can I get a glass of Prosecco? Yes. Please. Thank By you. all means. How long have you been single now? 32 years, if we're actually going 32 yeah. years. And so the short answer is my whole life, yeah. Yes. Never, yes. Had a relationship, For, so. never, never, ever, 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 ever. Have you come close? We've been on dates before. Right. Um, but, you know, I can probably count on one hand the number of dates I've been on. You know, they've been nice, they've been enjoyable evenings. I felt it, the others haven't. What's gone wrong in these dates before? Why haven't they borne fruit? Do you know what? I don't know. Maybe there's just not been that spark. I seem to be the person who likes people who don't like me in that way. Unrequited. But hey, I suppose that's, you know, that's dating. <laughs> there are six billion people on this planet. For God's sake, there must be at least one who's out there for me. Paul's one in six billion is Alex. An IT worker whose love life has fallen a little flat. Oops. Have you ever been kissed under the mistletoe? Not properly. <laughs> so I've always been single. I've never actually had a relationship. What do you think's going wrong? I'm not, not very good at dating. I've ended a lot of dates with a handshake. <laughs> because I don't really know what to do. But yeah, it's probably why I don't get another date. Hello. Hello. How are you? Yeah, good, you thank Alex? You. Yeah, Alex. How are you feeling? Bit nervous. Are you? Excited though. That's the way to do it. <laughs> I'd definitely be looking for someone who's nice, clever, very funny. I, do, I think it's a balance, isn't it, between humour and attractiveness. <laughs> Voila. Oh, wow. Well. <laughs> Enjoy. Hi, good to Hi. meet you. Nice to meet you, Alan. How are you doing? Yeah, Not really bad. good. Yeah, good. <laughs> Hello, sir. What are you drinking? I'm on the Prosecco. Would you like one? Yes, please. Yeah, that'd be great. Thank you. <laughs> Would you like a top up there? Um. Yeah, why not? Yeah. Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. <laughs> There we go, gents. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. All right, cheers. cheers. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Ooh. Sorry, what was her name? Sorry, Paul. Alex. Alex, lovely Good to meet you. you, yes. Oh, God. Right, well. I, I suppose we just wait until... Call to, call to, to the table, yeah. So what made you go on a blind date? Do you know what? Genuinely, I've never been on one before. Really? <laughs> yeah. Exactly the same. It's my first blind date. Is it? Yeah, yeah. So, so actually, we're both newbies at this, so good. Good. <laughs> but, um, so I just thought, let's give it a go. I don't like dating. <laughs> <laughs> you are you are literally talking the same language. <laughs> because do you know what? I look at other people and it seems so easy. Oh my god, yes. Oh. My housemates, both of them. Just like, what are you doing this week? Oh, I've got a date on Monday, Wednesday, Friday. I can't even um, get one this month, let alone. <laughs> I've never had a boyfriend. Same. Huh? Never had a boyfriend. Huh? Have you ever been in love? Uh, yeah, yeah, no, I have. Yeah? Not with great results. <laughs> Today, yeah, it's always been unrequited. Unrequited love's horrible. It just knocks the wind out of you. Yeah, absolutely it does. Yeah, the worst one was my housemate that I bought a house with, which was not ideal. Yeah, I can see how that would be an issue. I sort of knew that it was happening. It was like, no, this can't happen. 
and I couldn't really talk to my friends about it because he was friends with all of my friends. Oh, it was such a tough time. We bought somewhere that needed doing up. Yeah. And we had to go out and choose carpets and choose paint and do all of that Like stuff. you're a couple, yeah. It was just suddenly like going into like year five of a marriage. Then I fell for him. I fell in love with him. I told him in a cab on the way home from a night out. And then the next morning he was like, um, what you said last night, was that true? I was like, yeah, yeah, it was. He didn't feel the same way. He said he was sorry. There wasn't really much more to say than that. So he is a serial dater, like bringing people home, having dates, and he's just like, actually, you know, this is killing I'm not, me. I'm not happy with this. Oh, no, yeah. So I ended up moving out. Yeah, and it was really tough. I don't know how it, how I'd imagine it feeling when it's returned. It probably feels completely different. I think I'll be really suspicious that someone likes me. I'll be like, what is wrong with you? Why, <laughs> why do you like me? If it's any consolation, <laughs> I can completely sympathise with that as well. I'm the eternal person to be friend-zoned. I think I might be the same. Mm. We never learn, do we? So. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you subscribe to get a regular serving of Love and Romance.